Hey beautiful Pisces, welcome back to your second reading today. So, um, this morning we're looking at the fact that you're trying to get something done but you're being very hard on yourself, probably harder than you need to be. So, um, the second reading, of course, the second card that had come out for uh, the work that you have to do is to stop comparing yourself, which apples to oranges, right? That's what it's showing here. Apples don't compare themselves to oranges and stars don't compete with other stars. They know there's room for all to shine in this ever-expanding universe. So embrace your differences, celebrate your quirks and kinks, bring your fullest expression of self forward and champion others when they do the same. Okay, so maybe the way that you are looking at things here is that you're feeling you somehow like I said with this one I feel that you feel that people are looking at you to get something done or relying on you for something is what I feel um but you ever thought that maybe they're just looking at you to see how you're gonna get it done not really expecting but kind of pondering how you're going to manage it, right? They're outreach hands where they're going, what's going on here? They're not really asking for um, a handout. This is what it feels like, like, oh, all these hands that I've got to provide for. They're more saying, what kind of fruit are you going to put in our hands? You know, like what kind of, of stuff is going to happen here? Okay. So I'm going to keep pulling cards. I'm going to pull some more from um, the crazy, sexy love notes. I'll pull a few more here. I have a whole bunch that came out for the week, but hey, if we can use the whole deck, let's use the whole deck, Pisces, right? All right, so this one wanted to come out right away. It's uh, give each other space. Look at that. I that's what I feel. I feel like you're putting a whole bunch of pressure on yourself. Sometimes it's hard to work out our differences when we don't have enough space. So take a step back, create room for authentic conversation. Perhaps you need to consult with a therapist to guide you through the emotional thicket, or maybe you just need some new tools for healthy communication. Whatever it is, don't try to fix it right now. Give yourself space. I, I like this, okay? Rebirth is nothing small. I mean, things happen here. And this space is, um, I like the fact that she's like on top of a, of a cliff almost. Not almost, she is. You can see the treetops from, you know, where she's standing. Um, she's giving herself some air. And I feel that's what, that's what you need. You need your, to give yourself some air to um, shed the skin of old and just kind of move towards what you need to. Right, Pisces? I mean... Give yourself a break, right? Um, like I said, I feel that you do have one of these is more golden than the others. I feel that you do have the golden egg. Uh, I'm just thinking that somehow it's it's being kind of it's it's like there's there's a cloudy fog that's that's passing over it, in which now you're it's it's a, a part of you is missing it. You know what I mean? Okay, so let me see here. There's too many that came out. Let's see. It's time to rise. Yeah, again, it's the higher up, right? It's going up. No matter what's happening in our lives, we always have the potential to rise above it. Rising is one powerful choice away. Rise out of negative thoughts or limiting beliefs. Rise out of comfort zone or complaints. Rise out of slump and out of the potato chip bag. Get up and rise. What are you waiting for, darling? I love this. So it's almost like reminding you that you are like the golden goose giving the golden eggs. It's time for you to rise above whatever this, whatever's happening here. Okay? All right, so let's continue on. I'm going to take from Raise Your Vibration Oracle by Kyle Gray. And they need another 
oracle back. <laughs> yeah, I'm using oracles in the second reading. Like I said, shaking things up for this week, for last week. Um, Jane needs a shake up. A shake up and a wake up. Oh. My breath connects me to life. All right. So I feel that breath and meditation is coming in here, okay? So when you're starting to feel like restricted or having a hard time, I feel that it's kind of telling you it's time to breathe it in. Just take in the breath and let it out, right? Make way for miracles and clear your karma. Hmm, interesting. Clear your karma. Make way for miracles. Let's pull another one here. It was called here on a mission. All right. So open doors. Um, it's almost like you have that justice card scale. It's like they're saying get rid of that. Um, for me, karma is also like carrying stuff from ancestors when they talk about that. Um, and I feel like this stuff that you're doing, this authority, this got to be done a certain way, is something you're carrying from behind you, right? What you've been thought, everything that you're doing. Miracles. You have miracles here. You have fulfillment there. Was called here on a mission, and I love the star here, like shining brightly, like you came down from the heavens to fulfill something specific. So it's time for you to see it. It's time for you to feel it. Very nice. Okay, so um, let's see here. Clear your karma. So this is a soul star um, chakra. These are, they got chakra cards. Um, yeah, our karma is made up of stories we carry in our energy field that contribute to our reality. <laughs> There's a good chance that some of these are limiting and untrue. Mm -hmm. These karmic blockages are negative ideas about ourselves that we project into our relationship, connection, situations, uh, of what others think about us <laughs> like you feel like somebody's waiting right we're talking about that like somebody's waiting so it's time for yourself to release yourself from these experiences um and release them from your field okay um they're encouraging an open and honest conversation with whoever you feel has these kind of opinions for you. So maybe um, if you ask these people who are watching you what they're really thinking, maybe you're going to get a clear indication of what they're thinking, right? Instead of just assuming what's going on, they may be having a very different thought. Um, by taking time to communicate about these things, you give yourself opportunity to let go of the old story and create a better one says don't hold back from doing this it'll open up your energy to more light abundance and support and there's a support right here okay instead of going what are you going to give us it's more of a how can we help very different very just a little shift right and this this karmic scale so it'll it'll allow you to navigate your future with clarity and free of the your limitations of the past like that so I make way for miracles I make way for miracles let's see here oh it's ancient wisdom car karma I do believe oh no it's stellar gateway manifesting nice miracles are real they come in many sizes many forms they're unfolding in our life when they aren't unfolding, something has gone wrong. Miracles are a birthright. Your birthright, because you, my dear, are a miracle. Miracles attract miracles. And I feel that. I feel like you are a miracle. Look at that beautiful light of a star coming down to the planet. That's what it... 
This is what I feel when I, I see that. The universe is reminding you that no matter what miracle you need, it's available to you. It's in your grasp. It's within your grasp. But do you believe that? Are you making that miracle too big for you to achieve? Are you wondering how it could ever possibly unfold? See, so it's not your job to understand miracles, but to ready yourself for them. Instead of wondering how yours will manifest, begin to create space for it. And again, a mention of space, right? Give space. Give each other space. Okay? The word is coming up again. So you may just need to breathe space. A lot of air coming in. Okay? Instead of wondering how yours will manifest, begin to create space for it. See yourself enjoying it. Tune into the feelings you would have if you were already in your life and know what that is. And know that it is. Very nice. I stop sizing up my miracles and trust that every miracle is possible. I like that. It's like sizing up. And that's what I feel you're doing. I feel that you're assuming you have to do a certain thing. You have a certain chess piece to play here. I feel that's what's coming through in these readings. I was called here on a mission. It says, this is certainly not your first incarnation, and there's a good chance it's not your last. But before you came here, your soul set the intention to remember the power of your spirit in this lifetime. It set the intention to bring in the light of Source. This was your mission. The rest was left up to you. All the learning, all the experiences is what you might do with them. But your life has great purpose. I love that. Life purpose. And remember, we had the, the card of your purpose of life is joy. So remember that as well, right? When this card comes to you, the universe is reminding you of it. It's a boost of confidence. It shows you you're on the right path. Just by being who you truly are. You're a bright spark of light and goodness. So stop getting worried about specific. Just express the power of your spirit in the most authentic way possible. Shine now. Shine where you are. Express your gifts and the rest will unfold. I remember the power of my spirit. Beautiful, beautiful way of, of saying all of that, Pisces. I love these cards. They're very, very optimistic and they're very nice to behold. So uh, one more deck. Let me see here. I think I'm going to take the Sacred Creator because they just happen to be right in my hand. Let's see. Well, at hand, I should say, not in my hand. Um, let's pull a couple cards from here. What do you really want? X marks the spot. I like that. Cut the cords of doubt. like that too. You are epic. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And all good. I mean, Pisces, this is all good. What do you really want? Do you want to be stuck in trying to figure out everything all the time? Or do you want support to your energetic idea? Is that what you really want? Cut the cords of doubt. In other words, don't always feel like you're in a, a boat sinking. Okay? Instead, be on the creative side of everything. Right? There's that, the beautiful, almost the butterfly. It's not really a butterfly, but it's like a paper kite flowing up to the heavens. I like that. You are epic. You are. You are epic. You have a higher self that you can tap into at any time. Look how these beautifully these colors go together. 
I should actually take these three decks at one point and just work with them. Like the the creator, the Chrysan, the two Chrysan decks and the new deck that I have. I think they really complement each other. Amazingly so. Okay. So cut the cords of doubt. 42. Love that. 6, 9, 4. I'm going to read Cut the Chords of Doubt. Doubt can taint the most beautiful of circumstances or change a trajectory by keeping it unnaturally constrained. Mm. Devil. And you trying to create magic that you already have. I like that. It's like you're, you're trying to create magic you already have. Uh, it can be an incessant deather. Tether. T-E-T-H-E-R. Jane has a hard time with this word. Um, too many H's and not enough French people. They never have a heart. They, they can never say H's properly in English. And see that? You see that? Yeah. Um, and it may be the, that, um, that tether may be getting in the way of something you have been thinking about doing. This card is a wonderful sign to take a risk on your brilliance. It assures a journey of success and freedom, and it whispers of pure potential when you embrace your true nature. Your desire, your essence, is like a phoenix. Oh, so it is a phoenix. It is rebirth. I wasn't wrong. It's not a butterfly, but it is death card, though. I release myself, right? Uh, rising from the constraints of the old form, or like an angel rising up to the heavens. When you let go of your anchors and are unbound by gravity of fear, you'll easily see what shackles, habits, or beliefs need to be released first. What is weighing you down, creator love? It's time to let go and release sadness or anger, guilt or shame, and to exhale doubt. Exhale doubt. My breath connects me to life. See that? Exhale doubt, uh, and inhale love. Spread your wings and glide home because the whole of the universe supports this radiant rising of your spectacular spirit. Fly away. Okay. This card shows a phoenix rising from the constraints of an old, of its old forms, an angel rising up to the heavens, or a fake creature who is not bound by the gravity of doubt. What do you see? And when you get its bird-eye view of your shackles, and see exactly which areas of your life weigh you down, which cord needs to be cut first? I think it, it's, it's obvious. You're missing the epic moments here by weighing yourself down. The Emperor coming out twice is, for me, in this reading, very much a weight that you're carrying. And there's comparisons. You just feel the weight and the pressure of having to, um, I don't know, live up to something, Pisces. There's something here where you're trying to live up to something that's just... Uh, um, a reference point. It's not the end all and be all. It's not a, a rule, but somehow you're making it a rule. You're making it the structure in whatever you're trying to accomplish here. And Pisces Spirit is saying to stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Okay? Don't do that anymore. That's enough. That is enough. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that in all my being. Stop that. Throw the rule book out. You already know it by heart. You don't need it. It's causing enough problems. Now, right now, is the time for you to shine. It's time for you to be the orange or the apple or whatever other fruit you want to be. And to ask yourself, what do you really want? Okay, what do you really want? I was talking about that. Don't do what everybody else is doing. Do what's true to you. Okay? You can still be a good person, okay, and do something that's authentically you. You don't need to follow the crowd. You can find your own way, 
or you can do something that they're doing, but do it in your own way. Take from everything. Sample everything. Okay? A long time ago, I decided that I was not a Catholic person. I did not want to be Catholic. It's not because there's not some things about uh, Catholic, the Catholic religions that I hate. There's some things that I like. And then I started studying other religions and realized there's something I like about Buddhism. There's something I like about this. There's something I like about that. So what is my religion? I don't have a religion. I have a spirituality and I have an innate want to learn. I want to know what people believe in. I want to know what they really like about the stuff they believe in. And if I like what they like, I add it to my dictionary, to my skill set, to my tool belt. Put whatever you want here. I don't nail myself down into anything specific. Because I feel as a hierophant, as a number five in my life, when you nail yourself down to something specific, you close the door to doing anything new. So, I'm sharing this with you so that you know. Don't nail yourself down. Don't think that people are waiting on you. Or watching you. Are you going to do it? Maybe they're just watching you. Maybe they're just curious. Why don't you ask them? Okay? Anyway, I'm going to leave you with all of that. I'm just repeating stuff now. So, I'm going to send you a lot of love, light, and blessings, Spices. 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 It almost sounds like I said Spices, but anyway. Um, thank you so much, and uh, thank you for your support. Um, I want to do more with the channel, Pisces, and I would like to get... I would like to bounce it off of you guys since you guys are a great support. Now, I know a lot of you are going to go free readings and that sounds great, I'm sure. But I would like other ideas if you have them. Um, I've been thinking of doing lives. Um, they're hard on energy though, but I, I would like to do maybe again once a month do a live. Um... But other than that, I would love to hear from you. If there's anything that you like to see, if you have any ideas. I know I've shared a few business ideas through uh, the years with all of you. I'm, I'm asking you now to uh, send some stuff that you would like to see. And um, I appreciate anybody who takes the time to write it in the comment section. Um, I'm brainstorming, but not really coming up with too much. Um, I am working on something to provide readings, but uh, again, I need to finish the task before I can uh, start offering my services. Uh, but that's that's something different. That's um, Well, it's not different. It's readings. Anyway, hard to talk about it until it's done. But just let me know what you think. I'm bouncing stuff off um, out here uh, to you guys to see if um, you can bounce something stuff uh, bounce something stuff. Wow. Bounce stuff back to me. Anyway, I'll leave it here. I'm dropping that here. You guys uh, let me know if there's anything. And uh, love, light, and blessings. I will see you later. Take care.